and afternoon folks this is your old pal uncle Al. hope you can hear me okay we're going to talk about since it's getting winter a lot of you older folks tend to go out in the snow or wet and stuff and what happens you go out there and either you have a slip or a fall and you're in the hospital with a concussion all right, a lot of us who's prepared always wear a safety helmet if you're working around wet conditions, okay? A lot of people at my nephew's dairy thought this was stupid until two of them went to the hospital. After that, I make sure everybody wears on wet surfaces. Okay, you want to protect your noggin. You don't want to fall down. I got this thing too tight again. Okay. Okay, you don't want your noggin to get damaged. All right, it looks really bad when I have to write out the OSHA report. California is stupid like that. All right, seriously, you should have something to protect the head. Okay, if Mr. Pelosi had one of these, he wouldn't feel that. Okay, you should have one of these. In Japan, everybody has this. We have to tell to the foreigners who don't understand why you wear one of these. In English, Japanese, Chinese, Taiwanese, you name it, we have to tell the foreigners. Okay, very simple process. And it does come with little holes you put chin straps on it. Also, you could fit a headlamp on it. Now, I showed you this before. I got this at a garage sale. If you go snowboarding or skateboarding, you get one of these. This is one of the best deals I found at a garage sale. A lot of people ask me, why do I need one of these? I live in earthquake country. I like this one because it has a chin strap and it has vents. Okay. Go. Yeah, it's ready to go. Okay, folks, why you need, again, in case you fall down or somebody from the Green Party is doing this to your head. A lot of you, only one uh, channel showed this was the Urban Prepper. Everybody else, uh, I saw the Canadian Prepper and another Prepper channel uh, thought, you know, if you wear a tube to protect your head, you know, stocking cap, knitted cap, they went like this with a mallet. Funny as hell, I won't mention that channel, but it wasn't Canadian Prepper, it was another channel. They're on the ground out cold. Their wife's like holding this. And I don't think that'll work, dear. Duh. So you want something if you slip and fall during the winter. Sideways get icy. It looks bad if you're outside and all of a sudden you're on the ground going from a concussion. Cowboy hat doesn't hack it. The knitted cap don't hack it. And damn sure those baseball caps won't protect your head. Okay? Simple. Best five bucks I ever got. Now a lot of you people think Uncle Alan's paranoid. Wait until you pay the hospital bill. And I know a lot of you homesteaders out there already took a tumble. A lot of Texas homesteaders and Tennessee homesteaders look damn stupid when you're filling out the insurance report. Yes, my husband went outside and slipped on a patch of ice and cracked his skull. All right. So I'll catch you later. That's my Saturday tip for the day. 
get a helmet. All right, should be one next to your bed. Because no, nobody ever listens to old Uncle Al. I say, if you live in an area where they have hurricanes, tornadoes, any high wind area, you should get one. Why? You get smacked in the head with something. You're going down for the count. Other thing is, you should have shoes, slip-on shoes next to your bed. You know how many feet I bandaged up? And right now, between Lawton and Arkansas and Oklahoma and uh, Louisiana, there's this big storm circle boiling over. Okay, and I'll catch you later. You have a wonderful weekend. Try not to die out there, folks. Remember, we're going into month three. <laughs> I'll be seeing you. Bye now.